Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to groom your small dog at home. In this video, we will be going over the basic steps you need to take in order to keep your small dog looking and feeling their best. Grooming your small dog at home can be a great way to save money and bond with your furry friend. However, it's important to know the proper techniques and tools to use in order to keep your dog looking and feeling their best. In this guide, we will walk you through the basic steps of grooming your small dog at home. First, let's talk about the tools you will need. You will need a brush, scissors, a comb, and clippers if you plan on trimming your dog's hair. It's important to use the right tools for your dog's specific coat type, so be sure to consult your vet or a professional groomer for advice. Before you begin grooming, it's important to make sure your dog is comfortable and relaxed. Give them a treat or toy to keep them occupied while you groom them. You can also use a calming spray or play soothing music to help them feel more at ease. Next, we will start with the brushing. Brushing your dog's coat is important to remove any tangles or mats and to distribute natural oils throughout their coat. Start by using a brush that is appropriate for your dog's coat type and work in small sections, starting at the head and working your way down the body. Be sure to pay extra attention to areas where tangles and mats are more likely to occur, such as behind the ears and under the legs. If your dog has a long coat, you may need to use a slicker brush to remove any tangles and mats. After you have finished brushing, it's time to trim any excess hair. Start by using scissors to trim around the ears, paws, and tail. Be sure to use a comb to help guide the scissors and to avoid cutting too close to the skin. If your dog has a long coat, you may also need to trim their fur around the belly and legs to avoid any matting or tangling. Please subscribe and click the bell. Next, we will move on to the clippers. If your dog has a longer coat, you may need to use clippers to trim it down to a more manageable length. Use a guard comb to help guide the clippers and to avoid cutting too close to the skin. Be sure to start with a longer guard comb and gradually work your way down to a shorter one. It's important to go slowly and to watch for any signs of discomfort from your dog. After you have finished trimming your dog's coat, it's time to give them a bath. Use a dog-specific shampoo and be sure to massage it into their coat thoroughly. Rinse your dog's coat thoroughly to ensure that all the shampoo is removed. After their bath, you can use a dog-specific conditioner to help detangle their coat and make it more manageable. Finally, we will clean your dog's ears and trim their nails. Use a cotton ball or a soft cloth to clean inside the ears and be sure to trim the nails with a pair of dog-specific nail clippers. It's important to be very careful when trimming your dog's nails, as you can easily cut the quick, which is the sensitive part of the nail that contains blood vessels. If you're not comfortable trimming your dog's nails, you can ask your vet or a professional groomer to do it for you. In summary, by following these basic steps, you will be able to keep your small dog looking and feeling their best. Remember to use the right tools, brush and trim your dog's hair, clean their ears, and trim their nails. Grooming your dog at home can be a great way to bond with your furry friend.